In archaeology, excavation is the exposure, processing and recording of archaeological remains. An excavation site or dig is the area being studied. These locations range from one to several areas at a time during a project and can be conducted over a few weeks to several years. Excavation involves the recovery of several types of data from a site. This data includes artifacts, portable objects made or modified by humans, features non-portable modifications to the site itself such as post moles, burials and herds. Ecofax – evidence of human activity through organic remains such as animal bones, pollen or charcoal and archaeological context that is relationships among the other types of data. There are three prominent types of excavations which are research excavation, rescue excavation and salvage excavation. Research excavation Research excavations look at archaeological sites for the purpose of research instead of in relation to new developments. They may be carried out by academic archaeologists or amateur archaeological societies in a local area and may look for answers to specific questions, for example, the date or function of a crop mark or a collection of earthworks. If an area is newly discovered, a research excavation may occur to verify its identity. Rescue Excavation Rescue excavation is self-explanatory. This is a dig focused on the rescue of artifacts which can be preserved as well as environmental remnants and plants of structures at a site which at the moment possess a danger of being demolished. Rescue excavations are the most popular type of excavation in countries like UK currently. The stresses of development are a major catalyst. In a crowded and small country, it is seldom possible to develop roads, housing estates, motorways, pipelines or airports with minimal effect on archaeology. However, there are other reasons such as erosion. For example, several of the most interesting archaeological sites are found on cliffs and also along beaches that are being destroyed by unpredictable storms and high tides. Archaeologists go to salvage what is remaining and collect the information they represent. Rescue excavation occurs in the countryside as well. Modern archaeological methods, new housing developments and querying especially are damaging traces of the past, in some cases erasing them altogether. Salvage excavation Salvage or compliance archaeology mainly exists because of local, state and federal historic preservation mandates. Compliance archaeology makes sure cultural resources that would most likely be affected by construction and adequately managed using documentation and also excavation prior to them being destroyed. More than half of the archaeologists working in the US currently work in salvage archaeology. Compliance projects make up a growing portion of archaeological research with millions of dollars designated to projects every year. Salvage archaeology has usually gotten involvement from state and federal land managers, highway departments, army corps of engineers and also state historic preservation offices. If you want to know anything about Indian history, please leave it in the comment box so that I can come back with it. If you have liked the episode, please like, share and subscribe. Thank you.